Hello there, this is Dave Allen for No Stylus and Video Magical and today we're going to have another look at what we can do with Pinnacle and we're going to get into some detail with trimming clips. Here we are with our videos. I've got a clip there that is 2 minutes and 23 seconds long and 23 frames. So what I want to do is I want to trim that. Now the first thing that I can do is I can get these little uh, arrow sort of half arrow things on the start at the beginning of it to move across. So if I move that across there, that's going to move the end point across. And if I move this across here, that moves the out point across. Okay, so let's just go back to our in point again. We've got an in point over there. Now if I do a swipe left, that extends the in point to the left by one frame. If I do the uh, same thing again with a swipe to the left with two fingers, it moves it across by 10. So there you go, 10 and 1. Now let's go to the out point. And the same thing again here, if I go to the right, it takes off one. Do fingers across and it takes off ten frames. So there you have some specific gestures that you can use for changing the length of your clip with pre-trimming. And when you've got it the way that you want it, if you go down, that will set the in point. If you do one finger up, that sets the out point. And you will find that there is a minimum distance that you can get between these two in points and out points so that you have enough movie clip to play with there. But that's how you do a little bit of pre-trimming. Once you've got it trimmed the way that you want it, then all you need to do is to drag it and drop it into your timeline. So I'm dragging it and dropping it there. And this time what I want to do is I want to drag it and drop it on top of this one here. And that gives me some other options. I can replace it completely using a new length. I can replace it and keep the length of the clip. And I can do a picture in picture. So let's try a picture in picture. So you can see now I've got the picture inside that there. And I can do some rotation of that picture. I can move the picture and put it where I wanted to put it. So there's a few things that you can do with picture in picture. How about that then? Not bad, hey? Now let's see, if I've got a montage in there already, so let's say I've got this montage in there. Let's put it to the end of this here. So this time what I'm going to do is I'm going to select a picture. I've got my picture and I'm going to drag it on top of the montage. Now this time I've got a choice of where I want to put it. I can choose one, two, three, a drop zone. So let's choose drop zone number one. And then this time I'm going to do it the same again, but I'm going to drop it on there and choose drop zone 2. And then with this one, do the same again and choose drop zone 3. And press play. So, how's that? Cool or what? And then we can put a bit of text in there at the end of that if we want to as well. So to put the text into that bit there, basically what I do is get to that position there in the thing, tap on the text in the screen. Actually, I actually have to do a double tap there, get this thing up here, take that out. So you might want to change the colour of the text for instance. So let's say I want to have uh, blue, take saturation down, or change the brightness of that there if I want to, so make it more black. So let's have a very dark blue in there, that's quite good isn't it? Let's go back on that there. I can change the typeface on this as well. Good lot of typefaces there that you can use, quite good. Let's go for that one there. Very sexy looking typeface and click on done. Little bit of rendering to do there. Well that's good isn't it, eh? I like that. Let's go back to the start of this clip again and press play. So that's our drop zone one. Now it's moved on to drop zone two. Drop zone three. And finally it moves on to our bit of text. A little bit more that you can do with Pinnacle. We've had a look at some pre-trimming there. That's you can, things you can do with uh, using the little arrows in the actual screen there. And also that you can use some gestures where you're swiping to the left or to the right to add frames either at one frame a time or ten frames a time. Things work differently if you're dropping pictures onto a montage or whether you're dropping a montage onto some pictures. Let's get a montage and I'm going to drop a montage onto a picture. Let's go for instant photo. Let's take that and drop it onto this here. And this is telling me this time that instead of giving me options of which drop zone I want to put it into, it's going to say, do you want a composite? So now that's a composite. And what that has done is put it into the final one of those four drop zones. So there you go. There's a few more things that you can do with Pinnacle. 
some of these things to really get down into working out exactly how they're going to work for you. You're going to have to have a bit of a play with them yourself, but uh, they're not too difficult to work out. So this is Dave Allen for No Stylus and for Video Magical. Talk to you again soon. Bye-bye now.